Bonjour. It's me. Still bald. I was going to tell you a few things about um, experiences that I've had or I'm going to have or things I've done over the last couple of days. Now, I've been home this. I slept two nights at, at, at home at the moment, and I just thought I'd, I'd speak to you about um, how things have developed if at all. Uh, one of the things I was wondering is, and I don't really know the answer to this, is whether my hair will continue to fall out. So with HSCT in Russia, you get four days of chemotherapy, one after the other. So you don't get gaps between your chemotherapy. And I don't know whether that means that when your hair stops falling out, so I have had some hair fall out from my head, from my chest, from, from different regions of my body. Um, so I'm, I, I am less hairy than I was, but it's all a bit patchy. So I have sort of hair here, there and everywhere, but, but not everywhere, actually. So here and there, not everywhere. And, and I wonder whether it would will continue to fall out and some 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 things you you hear that it will fall out two to three weeks after chemotherapy but but in reading that that might be sort of regular chemotherapy that you get with cancer that that's done in different ways where you are getting different regimens of of chemotherapy that are given to you over longer periods of time so you have some chemotherapy then a few days off then the chemotherapy then a few days off then chemotherapy and of course that build up then then has a different effect on whether your hair will fall out. So I know that through the, the forums, people have had different experiences with, with hair falling out. I'm starting to think that that what I have is 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 what I'm gonna have left. Although it looks like my hair has fallen out of my head, actually it hasn't. I've still got quite a uh, head of hair here it's just been sort of well shaved and I have a very patchy patchy sort of approach to to my facial hair which is thick I have thick facial hair in places I mean you can't really see it but but the individual hairs are quite thick and so I, I was I was wondering whether actually my hair loss has is, is pretty much reached its its maximum and it, it's just going to be a slow slow process of growing it back um, to how it was or close to how it was. Some people say it grows back sort of curlier and finer and whatnot to begin with. So I, I don't really know. Uh, people will have different experiences of of hair loss and how much it how quickly it affects them and how, how much it affects them. But certainly for me it's not been as 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 hard hitting as I thought it would be, so um, so that that's that's that for you. I, I mentioned in the last video using a lot of these sort of uh, hand washes and Dettol sprays for handles and you know all that kind of rubbish. So you you're obviously going to be using loads of that. Now this is something that that that, that my partner got me. This is a urine test. Okay. So uh, this is something that uh, tests a number of different things, including your leukocytes and whatnot. So uh, these are, well, I suppose I'll get one out and show you because, you know, why not? It's all good fun, isn't it? Everyone li likes looking at a, a urine thing. Um, so that's what they look like. They have different colors on. And what happens is, you wheel one of these and then uh, you compare it to the colors on here. Now, the, the initial left-hand color, I think this is your norm. So once you wee, wee on it and, it and if it looks like all the ones down there, then you are normal, okay? Uh, I was normal for everything apart from density. 
don't really know what that means. I, I think it means I'm dehydrated. So I, I need to drink more. And the reason I'm probably dehydrated is because I still feel I'm going to the toilet quite a lot. And in fact, my sleep is disrupted by needing to go to the toilet quite a bit. And that is, is, is certainly a challenge I, I'm finding. I don't know whether that is my MS, the still effects from my catheter or, or whatever. But my bladder control is certainly not as good as it should be and so i probably need to work on pelvic floor exercises i might even try and get pregnant uh just so i can do that um because I, that's the only way you can do pelvic floor exercises i think is to get pregnant so um i think working on those muscles is going to be really really important because that will mean that hopefully I won't be getting up to go to the toilet every however often I am in the middle of the night which then disrupts my sleep which then makes me obviously very tired. The Which brings me on to the next part is that I have been pretty tired since coming back. Now that's what you can expect I'm sure. So when we were at the clinic we were pumped full of steroids quite often I am sure. And steroids, my general opinion of steroids is that they're probably going to keep you more awake than they are asleep. So without those coursing around your system, I think that tiredness is, is something that, that is, is going to affect, affect me much more greatly. And, I, and I've certainly had, I have felt more tired. Uh, really that's that's the least of my worries because if i was going to expect anything it was going to be to be tired and 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 to need to rest quite a bit so other than feeling quite tired which would is as i say a fairly normal thing what have i done well i have obviously rested last couple of days i've rested my partner's been really supportive um, I've not done an awful lot. I have to be honest, I've not done an awful lot. My coordination has been pretty short. So walking, so in the middle of the night when I go to the toilet, if I if I walk back, I'm banging towards, I knocked a painting off the wall because, because I just walked into the wall. Um, so I don't know how that will affect other people, but my coordination has certainly been affected um, quite considerably by um in coming back and i'm certainly weaker i'm weaker walking around uh, i need to 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 hold myself up uh, a little bit more than I, than than i used to have done now again like i keep saying how much of that is my central nervous system how much of that is, is the fact that i'm deconditioned and i've done nothing for a month I'm putting a lot down on, on, on the latter actually. And so I now need to now start building up um, exercise into my daily routine. So I need to start with some yoga and then really sort of increase that, that yoga um, output so that my muscles are starting to get used and used effectively. So that's really, really, really important for me. Uh, the other thing I've done, because here, here's a list of all the things that the, the discharge notes of the stuff that I'm supposed to to get done. Now, I was very lucky before I left for the clinic that my neurologist had already agreed to 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 um, book in that first neurologist appointment, which I think is three months after new neurological observation in three months so that's already done i sent an email yesterday to my doctors and i basically highlighted the blood test stuff here so oh, i get my hands confused this this is that hand this is this hand okay so this is the hand i want so that's <laughs> what a loser uh, so all the blood stuff there and the GP um, examinations there. What I've done is I sent an email to my to my um, my general practitioners and I said, look, 
we've agreed because he's been really supportive actually my gp and it, and he's and i said look i need these blood tests i need them in one and two weeks and then one and three months and these are the blood tests i need blah 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 and then and then i said i need a two and four week uh gp examination um as per this and i and i and i, and I took a photograph of both of these pieces of paper and then i um highlighted on the computer exactly the sections that that they needed to look at so hopefully that will be taken care of uh, what what I, what I want to be doing over the next few days is working through this to make sure that every part of this is being fulfilled right i don't want to miss any of this because this is my aftercare and this is super super important one thing I will be doing, and I've cleared it with, um, or I've cleared how much it costs with Anastasia in Russia. One thing I will be doing is going back for uh, an MRI in Russia in six months, probably in October half term. Uh, and I'll do that because I want a like for like uh, MRI scan so i want the same machine giving me the same a result that's comparable to, to to the results i got before whereas i know the machines here are different machines um and are less powerful machines so so that's something that i'll be booking in in the future but but straight away now i've got onto the gp and i have ordered uh my or not ordered but i've asked for my blood tests and my gp test to be done so just being organized getting things done um whilst also feeling rather tired and sleeping a lot so you know there you go anyway again hopefully this is useful